citizen member of the Order Green Circle Committee, and I realized that a lot of you weren't on council when the Green Circle was started, and so I wanted to kind of bring you up to date, give you some background on the Green Circle, kind of show you where we've been, what it was designed to do, and where we maybe want to go in the future with it, and also show you uh, an initial cut of the website. So if you'll follow along with me, and if I make a mistake on this, I am technologically challenged. So if I start shaking like a dog, it has some heat spits just hanging in the other way. So, the Green Circle is a core, um, let me back up for a second. I've already made a mistake. The Green Circle is a core of a plan to connect the city and county for biking and walking. It will incorporate routes outlined in the Young Go Bike Industrial Study. These routes will develop over time and they vary in places due to existing streets and sidewalks versus the various potential users of the trail. Its development should be coordinated with the city's comprehensive plan, which means the structure and routings need to be taken into account by planning and development staff, as well as utilities work on streets and sidewalks, and the plans for economic redevelopment and tourism. It could be an extremely valuable asset in the goal of new urbanism positioning the city well for competitive economic development. But this is the actual mission statement of the Green Circle. I think it's important that we read this and keep this in mind as we go through it. Because probably a lot of you have never seen this before, and this gives you an idea of where we were coming from when we started this way back in the early 2000s. The Green Circle is a walking, running, and biking trail following Town Runner and Acres Creek and the circling city. The project strives to provide safe bike and pedestrian facilities for the entire community while connecting parks, neighborhoods, schools, shopping, and tourist attractions. For possible, the route shall follow local streams, emphasizing the restoration, protection, interpretation, and interpretation of natural resources and urban green space. So this is a green circle um, map. And the following are some of the uh, existing or planned sites for the core trail that we connect, and that's what these red stars represent. So you can look along there. It's Old Town Mall, Glen Burning, and you can see another Chandler Valley. Winchester Medical Center and Chandler University's Medical Training Campus. Abrams Wetland Preserve, out of Boston Mall. Chandler University Main Campus, Jim Barnett Park, the new Senior Center. Chandler Valley Discovery Museum, Shoney Springs Civil War Field Hospital, Wetlands, and Patsy Klein's Home. this work. Park. And I applaud you all. 
This is just one of the entrances uh, to Abel's Wetland Preserve. You can see the signage along here. This is inside. If you've never been over there, you ought to go over and take a walk. Uh, the path was designed using a professor from the University of uh, from Shenandoah, so they could actually work with the developer and make sure that things kind of really didn't impact the uh, environment. Now, the next phase is the Town of Linear Park, and this is an overview. It's not a really accurate picture uh, of what's really going on, so just kind of disregard what's down here to orient you. This is Jim Barnett Park. This is the, the university, and the actual trail uh, comes up this way. It does go across the park. We just built. It goes a long town run, uh, hops back across a couple times, goes under the bridge, and comes out at Palm on end. And the next phase we're talking about, the part that you all are putting in for grants and, and agree to fund, is this next part that goes up through this green area behind Kent Street and will either come out on the side street or uh, come out down on Kent Street. This is what it looks like down here. You've never been down there. This is an urban forest. This is something that's just a it's, it's just an asset that's totally not used and, and probably underappreciated. It's probably uh, land that nobody wanted to, to develop, which is a good thing, because it always got left alone. Now we have a chance to come back in here and really turn this thing in, into something really nice. So we want to be very sensitive to how this gets developed. There's some steep slopes in there. There's a lot of forest. Um, we're, we're working with this kind of concrete monstrosity in here. Um, but there really is uh, some potential to make this another really nice section of the trail. And this, by the way, would probably be one of the few remaining, if not the last, major section of actual new trail that the city would have to build to complete the green circle. There is a section out at Meadow Branch, at that area, but that's supposedly a proper trail level development. Now let's talk about users. I think one of the things you have to remember, because I think each of us has a concept of what the green circle is, the trail or trails should consider the many classes of potential users in its design, location, signage, and amenities. So here are some of the, the people that might use the, the trail. So first you've got just the casual riders and young children, young families and walkers. This is out, on, um, this is out by the uh, Blevins, Missouri. Joggers, runners. These are bike enthusiasts. These are the guys that play the bike. <laughs> Commuters, shoppers, seniors, tourists, and even folks with uh, that need some assistance in getting around. So I think you need to keep your mind open to all these potential users when we're talking about trail and, and where the route needs to go. Now some new trails kind of put this all together. And so you can see all these various people using the same trail. And I want you to pay attention to the little cart. That's a potential tourism thing that this community can use that a lot of other places use that I think is a missed opportunity for us. It's a great way to potentially bring your tourists right into downtown without having buses and a lot of cars down there. You can even move your citizens around like that. So these are benefits of the Green Circle. The increased community physical fitness, you can't argue with that one. Improved air and water quality through education and alternative transportation. Economic advantage of the new urbanism, a stronger sense of community, increased public safety, tourism, and a venue for community events. Uh, this is a preliminary website. Uh, this structure was sponsored uh, by EDA with input provided uh, to the from citizens. It was designed to be user friendly and interactive with links to other sites such as parks and recs as well as those offered by organizations or activities along the route. The site is coordinated with Google Maps, which now allows for determining walking and biking routes. These can be integrated with the Green Circle route once we've designated an actual route. The site can potentially be an excellent tool for economic development and tourism. 